LAKM 603 Graduate Research in Writing. Dividing the research problem into subproblems. For a better understanding of the subject matter, read pages 36 through 50 of your course text. The goals for this particular subject involves you fully developing a research topic. To think of a problem in terms of its component parts identified as subproblems. To identify the pseudo subproblems and to begin your review of literature by selecting appropriate articles, journals, and other scholarly reading selections directly related to your research problem and its subproblem. Most research problems are too large or too complex without subdividing them into subproblems. By subdividing your research problems into subproblems can also assist in narrowing your research topic. Suppose we find methamphetamine use a problem within our community. We may look at subproblems within the topic area. A subproblem of methamphetamine use for our community involves methamphetamine use in American Indians. Another subproblem, which is a problem area, is methamphetamine use and prenatal health. To be more specific with this subproblem is American Indian prenatal health and methamphetamine use. Let's look at another problem area, suicide. A subproblem is suicide in American Indians. To be more specific to our area, suicide in Indian reservation youth. This too can be more specific or directive to include suicide and youth of the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation. The subproblem assists in defining your research for articles, journals, or other forms of literature related to your research topic area. In the case of the problem, suicide, our research begins with research about suicide leads to suicide in American Indians, suicide in Indian Reservation youth, and then suicide in youth of the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation. For the latter, you may not find research supporting this review, yet this may be your research topic area. This too assists you in the review of literature. Just what is the literature saying about your research topic area? The main thing to remember is that the line up of this literature review directs you to what the research literature is saying about your topic area and provides you with the directive to write the literature review. Each subproblem should be a completely researchable unit. For example, methamphetamine use could be a great introduction to the literature review. What is methamphetamine and what is their use? methamphetamine use in American Indians, methamphetamine use in prenatal health, and American Indian prenatal health and methamphetamine use are all topics which can be a part of the literature review. These two are topics in which your research for articles are scholarly in nature and are inclusive of qualitative or quantitative research methodologies. Through the journals you have sought out, each subproblem then can be clearly tied to the interpretation of the research data as part of your literature review. Now you may be, may be beginning to see how the subproblems add up to the totality of the problem or leads to the introduction of your research problem statement, which may be methamphetamine use and pregnant Cheyenne River Reservation women. A major point to remember though, is that the subject problem should be small in number. Let's consider the pseudo subproblems of the research topic. This involves the methods of the research problem. For the literature review, pay attention to the way the research sample was chosen. The sample includes the participants in this case and how they were selected. Furthermore, how large was the representing sample of the research population? What instruments or methods were used to gather data? What st statistical procedures were used to analyze the data? The review of the literature, the problem, 
the subproblem, and the methods imposed can be assistive in your research design. It is fine to duplicate others' research or choose certain methods to complete your research design. In this case, you will need to choose a sample. Decide on the size of the representative sample of the population. Decide on the instruments you will use as well as the procedures used to analyze your data. Up to this point, we have been discussing only the problem and its subparts. The statement of the problem establishes the goal or purpose for the research effort. The subproblems suggest ways of approaching the goal or purpose in a manageable, systematic way. But a goal alone is not enough. To comprehend fully the meaning of the problem, we need other information as well. Both the researcher and those reading the research proposal should ultimately have a clear understanding of every detail of the process. Therefore, any research endeavor should eliminate any possibility of misunderstanding by stating the hypothesis or research question, describing the specific hypothesis being tested or questions being asked. Remember, a hypothesis is an educated guess. The research should eliminate the research, fully disclosing what the research intends to do and controversially does not intend to do. Defining the terms, giving the meanings of all terms in the statements of the problem and subproblems that have any possibility of being misunderstood. For example, not all people will understand many terms within your field. The term NCLB, No Child Left Behind, may not be understood by people in the business field and or other disciplines. Stating the assumptions, presenting a clear statement of all assumptions on which the research will rest. For more information, view your text beginning on page 39. The hypothesis, methamphetamine use is a problem with pregnant women's health at the Cheyenne River Reservation brings to light the means to delimitate the research. It involves pregnant women's health at the specific reservation. Consider any terms associated with the topic which may need defining so the audience will understand the problem, uh, the goal, and the procedure of your research topic. The assumptions then come to light. You assume there is a problem with meth use and you assume that there is no other substance than meth use alone, and so on.